You better tell him, Mario. <laughs> I'm a huge fan. Are you? Yes, you really changed my life. Before I heard you speak a couple of times, I was getting into the feminist movement, but in sort of a silly way. Really? Yeah, you know, burning my bra, meeting a policeman, shooting my dad and stuff. Just lying around, you know. I didn't really understand the feelings I was having. Oh, I know, the wearisome troubles of the half-hearted. You got no chance. Tommy, hey Tommy, look at this. This is great. I've got us this mini bar installed. We got a whole bar downstairs, Ken. Yeah, yeah, whatever. Well, I got the chalkboard you asked for. Ah, that's the benefit of a law school education. The ability to follow instructions. No, I need a safe man. Oh, all right, well, let me think. Safe, safe, safe. safe. I got it. This guy will blow you away. Ah, no, nah, that schmuck, he's on the inside. Where inside? And a police headquarters cell awaiting transfer. I think he's about to get paroled. Keep the traffic flowing. We don't need men. We need more parts of town we can call our own. More parades, more gatherings of understanding where women can beat each other with pillows and practice judo. That doesn't sound like fun at all. Oh, shut up. I've had enough of you, you little tart. That makes two of us. Right. Listeners, don't go away. When you come back, we'll have a new guest, and I promise there'll be more... Cam Jones? Yeah, that's me. I'm busting you out. Whatever you say. Lose the heat and get me back to my place. Evacuator Part 2. Rated PG may include patriotic garbage. So, hello everyone and welcome back to KChat, Vice City's main place for things. I mean, well, it's a place in Vice City where things go on, like interviews and things, or other things like that. But at the moment, it's interviews, and I'm Amy Schackenhausen, the best interviewer in Vice City, and exclusive to KChat. Remember, you only hear Amy on KChat. 
our next guest is a man on a mission. And that's why he's got such a silly name. His mission is simple. Zoom. His name is Mr. Zoo. G'day, I'm... Hi, Mr. Zoo. Hi, the name's Pat. Pat Slanity? But I love zoos, I really do. That's why they also call me Mr. Zoo. Okay, and which do you prefer? Uh, what, darling? Which name, Mr. Zoo or Pat? What your favorite name? Oh, I don't mind, babe, whatever you fancy. Fine by me, as long as we talk about animals. I don't give a damn what you call me, as long as it ain't Sheila or something. <laughs> You're silly, Mr. Zoo. Why would I call you Sheila? Uh, I don't know, love, you tell me. Okay, I'm, this is getting confusing. It says here your name is Mr. Zoo, and now you're saying your name is Pat Flanagan, and now you're saying it's Sheila? Yeah, doll, the name ain't Sheila. That's a Sheila's name. It's an Australian joke. Oh, I, I don't speak Australian. Guess not, sweetheart. Okay, well, moving on. You're Mr. Zoo. And I am. Cool. And I hear you've made quite a name for yourself. Why is that? I'm going to be doing a job, and you're my animals. safe cracker. I'm Beats animals. losing my ass in his cell. Felicity and stuff, but I love animals. Oh, I love them. Me too. that we're 90% the same as a fly or a cockroach or a pigeon. That's the new science out there called genetics, I think, which is going to be real popular real soon. But what it tells us is all animals are pretty much the same from a genetic level. Oh, cool. Damn right it's cool, babe. You know what that means, don't you? No, I haven't got a clue. It means we've all got to start caring for one another like family. Okay, so let me get this straight. Like, my brother is a cockroach and my dad is a pigeon and my mom is... Hey, Mario. Boys, we'll get wild, wild, wild. I must train a little me. How old are you? I'm 23, but I feel much older and wiser. I know everything. I've seen a lot of the world. What does the rest of the world have to tell us about how to do things? Build more trains? Be have people elect their leader rather than an elite electoral college? Ride a bike to work like a Girl Scout? Or a clown with dietary concerns? No thanks, Vladimir. Keep teaching them a lesson. I'll tell you what makes a real man. A truck to pull stuff and a couch to think on. I'll tell you. We need a stick-up man, you know one? Hey, Tommy! 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 This stuff keeps you sharp, man! Woo! I could be your stick-up man! Stick him up! Stick him up! You ain't a stick-up man, you're an idiot! Now get yourself a drink and shut up! Hey, get out of my way! Yeah, yeah, yeah! Ow, ow, ow! Relax! Cam, what do you think? Well, the best shooter in this town is a guy named Cassidy. Is that so? Yeah, a military guy, or thinks he is. I doubt he was ever in the army, but he certainly knows how to get a hold of guns. He'll be down at the shooting range. Flowers and my dad's money. Listen, trust fund Tommy, your ideas are pathetic. It's no wonder that mankind has woken up one day to find me in charge, amigo. Mr. Shrub, you got elected on a campaign promising to reduce taxes to zero. But under your stewardship, we've seen taxes go up by 20% and services decline. Nobody is interested in your statistics, Chavez. Let me tell you something, pal. I'm better than that. I will not... I shall not, I cannot stoop to your level. They assured me this was a show that understood politics, where we could debate things mano a mano, and I find myself having statistics hurled at me like so much stale confetti. We cannot boil people down to numbers. You have no idea, my friend, what it takes to serve, the sacrifices I've made to help my country, to help Vice City. The complexity of government, the, the hideousness of my wife, and the way her thighs grow like our national... It's an animal which has other animals which are quite a bit like it. A dog is a species, but a cat isn't, because there's lots of cats. However, I've discovered out there in the wilds, 
loads of new species that regular science practiced by repressed blokes in laboratories hasn't even known about. Really? Really I have. There's a horny pat bear named after me. Pat, right? Exactly the same as a regular bear, only it's got a big horny growth hidden right down its groin area. You gotta reach in, have it fiddle about, and then you find it. Completely different. Cassidy? Why? I'm looking for a man who can handle a gun. On this setup, I'm not too convinced. Son, I can shoot a fly off your head at 80 feet. Oh, really? Yeah, I learned it in the Army. Fly shooting real popular in the Army? Glad I don't pay tax. You trying to be funny, kid? <laughs> That's shoot!
So, do you want to do me a favor and help me put together a job? Son, after shooting like that, if you asked me to be your wife, I'd say yes. I was tricked into saying something I regretted. Oh, cool. That happens to me all the time. I can see that, love. Yeah, big mistake. Never trust a judge or a mental health tribunal. Never home with trust animals. Okay, and what did they make you say? Nothing, babe. Oh, it was a long time ago. Look, I got a little surprise for you. It's a little female playground. See how relaxed she is with me? I got special powers. She's a lot like a little Joey kangaroo in a lot of ways. You know what I mean, huh? What did they make you say? I've also brought a menacing trouser snake. Would you like to see it? Look at this. It's a little frog in my pocket. Way, Calm as you like, not even awake. Oh, he's died. Anyway, in this pocket, I've got a baby dwarf giraffe I birthed this morning. See, she's still covered in fluid from her mum's womb. Wow, isn't that fabulous? Ooh, that's grody. What do they make you say at the mental health judge? Nothing, babe. Nothing at all. Long time ago, it was a bad... Get to the payphone in Little Havana. Ah, go me. Everybody is so Things are starting to come together nicely here. What's the plan, Tommy? Que pasa, amigo? The plan is you keep doing that like a moron. <laughs> Anyhow, we need a driver. Tommy, I'll do it. I can drive. <laughs> you want Hillary, mister. Not some smart talking law school chum. Hillary's a real deal. You ain't never seen anyone drive so fast. I'll give him a call here. Hey, Hill. It's Phil. How's it going? No, don't talk. We'll reminisce later. You want to do me a favor? I got me a guy from up north. Oh, no, I don't think he was in the service. But he wants a driver for a bit of action. Okay, I understand. What do you say? Well, he'll do it, no problem. Well, there might be a little problem. See, he has abandonment issues. Seems he won't work for anyone who can't beat him. Something to do with his mama. Anyway, he wants to race you first. Said he'd meet you outside. Abandonment issues. Who is this freak? Why can't I meet someone normal for a change? You Tommy? Oh, of course you're Tommy. I mean, why else would anyone want to speak to me? Okay, consider it this way. I'll drive for you if, and only if, you can drive properly. Leave me alone, and I'll never forgive you. your life back together while locked up in a pain itself for a very long time or until you die. Is it that time again, though? Yes, ma'am. Come on, put it on the street. Look, it's even got your initials on it. And swallow this. What did I tell you? I love animals and they love me. I got a message. Look for a wall at the chair. I'm really sorry. That is a very, very sick We rarely let the dangerous lady out of this society. And when we do, it's not always fake. Okay, great. Get this crackhead out of here. Oh, uh, uh, no bother. I never knew animals were so interesting. We'll be back after this. You're on K-Chat. Don't go away. Do yourself a favor. 
Pick up your telephone. Call now. 1-866-9-SAVE-ME. What better place to witness 40,000 years of nuclear winter than from the comfort of your very own space-ready nuclear bunker? When we raise 25 million, we will build a 50-story tall likeness of me. If we raise 300 million, the statue will rotate so I can look over this great city and cast an evil eye on degenerates. And when the eminent nuclear strike occurs, those who put faith into action with sufficiently generous... Contributions will join. Okay, I'll drive for you, but please, please is bad. As you can see, gentlemen, this is going to be the easiest buck we ever made. <laughs> Tommy, seriously, you gotta consider going into law. <sighs> what the hell are you smoking, man? This ain't no simple plan. Well, who needs a simple plan anyway? Take communism. Now that was a simple plan. Didn't do Russia any favors, huh? Calm down, all right? With a team like this, it's gonna be no problem. We got Cam on safe. Phil, you and me will handle security. And Hillary will drive to get it. Uh, <laughs> aren't you forgetting somebody? Somebody who helped you to no end in this town? Somebody Ken! Like Ken, that's right. Ken here, he washes the money for us. And he keeps the drinks on ice. <laughs> <laughs> I don't understand what I'm supposed to be doing here. Look, it's easy. Haven't you ever seen a movie? We walk into the bank, we wave the gun around, and leave very rich men. I'll drive. Great! A passenger? Wait till I tell the group about this. I'm loving the coven. She sits on the board of the Vice City Res Renaissance Committee. Jeff said... Tommy, Hillary's taking up too much room. I am not. R2! Hey, shut up, you two, or you can get out and walk. Yeah, Hillary. I guess so, if you're into a shiny glass. I prefer lacy gloves. Amy, for many thousands of years, my people have been using crystals and gem stones to heal the sin. Take the crystal, and then, when the night is enchanted, and the candles have been blown out, and the wind sings through the branches of the eucalyptus, hold up your arms and sing, All do my sky-sailing pregnant moon, the goddess. Pregnant moon? What are you talking about? Gethsemane? Gethsemane. Sorry, whatever. Do you even have a last name? My compost cousin named me Gethsemane. For God's sake, Bill, stop waving that thing around. To people persecuting us. It's been going on for thousands of years. Need Keep driving around the block, okay? Okay, Tommy, okay. We are in big time, man. Okay, guys, nice and easy, just as we planned. Hey, man, look at that car. I am next in line, man. This is a raid! Ah! Nobody move! Ah! Everybody up against that wall! Phil, hold down the fort. Wilco, roger that! Come on, Cam, the vault's upstairs. What do you... Thank you.
This is no joke, shithead. Damn! It's a flangy 9000. This could take hours to crack. Or five minutes if you could find a manager. I'll go find where he's holed up. Bill! Things still sweet? Sure! Everything's real quiet. You, you're coming with me. Okay, okay, just don't shoot. I said nobody move! It's on a time lock. You might as well give up now. Hell, I can bypass the time lock. Then we just need your key code and we're good. Stay here. You try anything and you're dead. I'm gonna check on Phil. I'll be right back. I told you not to touch that alarm! The SWAT team will be here any minute. I could do with some help here, Tommy! Surrounded? <laughs> They're crapping themselves. You rotten bastards. Tommy, the vault's open. Okay, we got the SWAT retirement fund. Let's get out of here. Okay, you asked for it. You had your last chance. They're storming the place. Take cover! Him a better issues. Hey guys, get in! I got you covered. Traffic sucks. We 
made it! We're rich! Rich! Oh, well, hi there, Mercedes. Yeah, I'm a little tense. What'd I tell you, Tommy? What'd I tell you? Ben Swap better watch out when Ken Paul is in town. Come on, give me a bigger slice, mate. Come on, I've got these new friends. You mean? Inspired boom and enjoy the kind of things sensible people have. Personal bodyguards, mass offenses, and a bigger collection of guns than the other guy. It stands to reason. No, 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 no! Keep them out of here! We do not want any more old folks! If there are any old people listening, go back to your homes. Florida does not want you. Please, die somewhere else. What's wrong with Nevada or Kansas? We want a river. We need a river. The Freedom River. And what about the other crimes? It seems scar crime, fashion crime, drugs, every... Tommy, I really enjoyed working with you. Ain't had so much fun since the region numb, pal. Anyhow, if you need anything, you call on me, you hear? I always remember those I served with, and I'm sure I can help you out, you hear? Hey, Mario. What's going on?